Hi and welcome again to the Home Engineers um, workshop channel. Today what I'm going to be talking to you about is finding the edge of your workpiece on a milling machine um, using um, edge finder, sometimes they're called wobblers, wigglers, they're all, there's lots of different names for these items but they, they all basically do the same thing. Down here we've got several different types. Um, these ones here are made by Planet and they basically are One's a cylindrical one, which is for finding the edge of round pieces. This is a round 5mm ball, and that's for finding the, the edge of flat stock. These are cylindrical ones, which are my preferred ones, and I will explain to you why I prefer these later in the video. This is a quite a common one that you can buy different attachments for. So you've got the ball, you've got a very, very small um, finder, you've also got the um, sticky pin which I've done a video on in the past and you've also got this one which a lot of people don't know what it's for and on here I've got a clock and basically this just fits into the back of the clock you can then tighten up the um, clamp and then that can then go into the collet mechanism on that wobbler and then you then got a clock that you can use for clocking holes up um, or on flat edges, all, all different types of things you can use for clocking up or even the head of the machine for that matter. The other thing I've got here is a, a really old wobbler which was my first ever wobbler and again it's got it came with two pieces one was uh, a Lobus type one which was for finding the edge of the work the one here is for cylindrical work and also you take the back out and you slide them down in from the back you can also put an extension behind it. So if you've got to get down deep into um, a casting or um, a framework, you, you can put an extension on it to actually make, make it a lot longer to get in there. OK, so this is what I'm going to talk to you about is mainly the this side here um, rather than, than that side. Because they all, again, like I said, they all do the same, principally the same thing. Um, and I'm only going to do it against a flat bit of stock rather than a round bit of stock. And so just so you can see how they actually work. OK. So what I've done there is I've actually just leveled it up onto the camera, onto the, the block. I'll put the first wobbler in, just hook it up in the chuck. And what I normally do is I lower the table below so that when I'm moving around, I don't clatter this into the um, component or the vice drawer, depending on what I'm, what I'm wobbling up on. Okay, so then I'll just bring the quill down. And then I'd run this at um, between anywhere between 600 and 700 RPM. So I'm going to go forward. Right, I'm just going to start the machine so that we can get this running. And what will happen is I'm actually going to move it in this Y axis. What will happen is this will be wobbling around and then all of a sudden it will go very, very straight. And then all of a sudden it will then flick off once I go over the centre of the five millimetre ball. And hopefully you'll pick that up on the, the camera. So it's straightened up and it's now flicked itself off. So I now know that that spindle is half of this diameter away from this edge. So all I would then do is either set my dials on my machine or the digital readout and move over half the, the, the ball. OK, now the reason I don't like these as much as the cylindrical ones are is sometimes if you've got a workpiece, it can flick out that far, spin round and if it's down on top of the work, it can actually damage the, the work piece. OK, so just be aware of that, that you do want them down reasonably low 
so that when they do flick off they, they can only rub up here I'll see if I can get, get it to do the, the flick No, it didn't do it um, on this material. I wonder if this might be a bit magnetic because this is what I use on a magnetic base. So maybe it's just sticking to it a little bit, which is probably not a brilliant thing to be demonstrating um, with. But just be aware that, that sometimes they do flick up and they can actually cause damage to the workpiece. Okay. Now these are my preferred ones because of that reason. These do not, um, th these are cylindrical ones and they they move around, they come in square, and again they flick off again exactly the same way as the other ones. But there's no chance of these actually um, damaging the damaging the workpiece. Same speed again. That's running true. And that's now just flicked. That's now just flicked off and you can just see now that it's not concentric. So that now is, that's a 10 millimeter shaft wobbler. So that now means that I am five millimeters away from from this edge. I could then re redo this edge after setting this one and then I've then got two datum edges that I can then work off of. Normally though you would always work off of the the back jaw because that's the fixed jaw um, so that one isn't going anywhere when you move it so if you've got a discrepancy in the size of your blocks um, your datum still come off the same face which is, which is your fixed jaw rather than your loose jaw. Okay well that was very quick on wobblers I hope you've enjoyed the video and it is explained to you how they work. Um, if you've enjoyed the channel, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.